Now we are in. Wow, that is sick, dog. That definitely needs some spacers. How are the canals for us? What is up guys, welcome back to part nine. This is a super exciting part for me personally because I love my cars slammed to the ground. And today we got something exciting. Check that out. This thing is going on air suspension. Right now we're gonna jack this car up, get all the wheels off, prep everything, take off all the suspension, and let's get right to it. I'm excited, let's go. So we got the rear strut out. That's what the old one looks like. This is stock one, I'm guessing, Bill Stein. Um, that is my air suspension one. And we're gonna get this braided hose on here, get it installed, get all the struts installed first, and then we're gonna run all the wires, all the lines, everything to the trunk. Let's keep going. So we got the rear strut in, and before we continue, um, putting in all the struts and whatnot. I'm gonna actually run this whole wire Connected to the battery run it all the way to the trunk where the compressor and the main uh, unit is gonna be For the air suspension that goes to the trunk area and it goes all the way here it's Super long goes the length of the whole car and that end right there. It goes through this hole over here I took off and it's gonna connect to the battery and we're gonna feed it right now, get all that wire tucked in, make it look beautiful so you won't see nothing. That was long, that took about an hour. Look what we had to take off. Look under here. So we got the wishbone off. It's on the floor right there. That's the wishbone off. And then we got, yeah, that off. And then we had to take off the lower stabilizer link because that thing is super heavy and we couldn't move the suspension components down enough to get these bolts out of the socket. But we're out now. We're gonna put the new strut in. We got two more struts, run the lines, and this thing's gonna be, Alright guys, we got both the bags installed on this side. Uh, we got the wire ran, the electrical wire to the rear. Everything's ran. Right now we are going to run the air hose, which is right over here. We're going to be tucking it in and we got to run it from the front bag all the way to the trunk, run it from the rear bag all the way to the trunk. Then we can put this side down and start tacking the other side. no air in the bags right now so we're gonna see what's going to happen I gotta see up front wow 
Wow, that is sick, dog. That definitely needs some spacers. How are we looking up front? Not bad, honestly. It's not bad. I don't even need to pull the fender liner out with this setup. Maybe we'll see. We'll see when we get there. But yeah, we put it up on these little what's it called? Like wheel dollies. Yeah, wheel dollies. That way we can get the jack from under the car. But we're gonna get the other side right now, lift it up, and put those bags on, put some air in these bags, and take these dollies out. Let's get to the other side. because of the secret lug right here um, super annoying anyways I'm gonna actually have to order that lug and get this wheel off but we did change the strut in here and while doing that I had to drill a little hole to run the airline I burned my eyelid but whatever I guess that's part of the part of the game the air hose is ran through um, to the front now we gotta run onto the back into the trunk and start connecting everything in the back the compressors the tank all the what's it called the module and whatnot and get it to start airing up and airing out. Let's go. Everything is ran into the trunk and almost all connected. So before anything, I test connect everything. I pump up the car, pump up the bags, make sure everything works before I go to tuck in all the wires and whatnot. Uh, about two more hours of work, maybe a little less, and to confirm everything's working. And then once we pump it up, we're gonna drive it home and finish the trunk area. Right now the computer is calibrating itself. Like lowering itself, adjusting, seeing all the pressures, make sure everything holds air. Come here, check it out. Go inside, check out the... Where does it release the air from? Exhaust hose. There one or two. Alrighty guys, we got the system calibrated. Everything is working, no air leaks. I'm super happy. Uh, right now we're gonna assemble the interior because to take off the rear two struts, we had to dis disassemble the interior. So we're now gonna dis assemble the interior and then set up the ride height and set up everything else probably tomorrow at home because it's like 10 o'clock right now. And we have all this big mess right here. Come take a look. So I just test fit everything and I'm gonna leave it overnight. Make sure the pressure stays the same because if pressure drops and that is no good. Catch you guys tomorrow, probably at the house. Actually, no, let's do the interior first. That is a wrap for the interior of the GTR. Everything is assembled, everything is looking beautiful. Uh, we just have one more thing left for the air suspension besides the trunk. I'm still debating on what kind of setup I want in there. Last time I put laminate in there and it looked pretty cool, but since this is GTR, I might go a little more fancier. 
maybe you guys can give us some ideas, that'd be awesome. And the last thing is to find an ignition wire for this, that way the compressor and all the operating, the whole air suspension unit starts working when the ignition is on. I guess we're gonna find this and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Next morning here and we are ready to start tucking in all the wires in the trunk of the GTR. The GTR is looking absolutely beautiful right now, as you can see. I actually did order some spacers for the rear. And yeah, let's get this thing backed up to the garage, put the camera set up, and start tucking in all the wires in the trunk. All right, so here's the mess we got here so far. That is what the trunk area is looking like right now. And the goal right now is to actually get all this tucked in, get all the interior trim pieces put in, and <clears throat> I'm gonna do a very simple tuck in right now. I'm gonna upload this video, and then I'm gonna, I wanna hear your guys' suggestions on what kind of style of basically trunk setup you guys want, compressor, the tank, where, where this unit should go and whatnot. Let's start tucking all this in. Alrighty, we got all the stuff out of the trunk. We got the tank, the two compressors, uh, the module, everything out. Right now we are going to vacuum the interior of the trunk, get all these shavings and all this junk out of here, and get into tucking, put in those panels, and see what we can do. Let's go. All right, we got everything vacuumed up. The trunk is looking beautiful. Everything is clean, perfect right now, um, except for one thing. So I bought an additional compressor for my air system and they only sent me one of these adapters, which goes from the tank to the compressor over here. Um, and they sent me these plugs and I have no time to order another one. So my dad is a metal lathe and he's actually going to cut a whatever it's called, cut a thread, yeah, inside the, inside this plug. Let's check it out. All right guys, so that is the end of the metal lathe working. And here is exactly what my dad made. Look at that. That is beautiful. That looks literally the same exact. So this is the original one. This is the one my dad made. It is beautiful. And we're going to put it inside the tank right now. And see how it fits. See how it works. Should be perfect. Let's go. Alrighty guys, we have made two brackets. Um, this is one bracket, this is another bracket. I'm gonna paint them, but for temporary, well, before I get them painted, this is what they look like. I slaughtered a little spot right there, um, and this is actually where it mounts. So my tank is gonna be mounted up here. Kinda hard to tell. Okay, so this is right, it's gonna go under this wire. It's gonna go right over here and if you look how perfect that that cut is right there look at that boom that's gonna mount right there 
tie on that nut over there and the, the tank is gonna hang from the top over there and that is one piece goes on this side boom and then the other piece is gonna go on this side mounts up over there and then I'm going to drill holes in the center actually I'm gonna mount it to the front of this like that I'm gonna mount it to the front of this and then drill another hole over here and do the same on this side get this tank hung up on there and then we can continue assembling start putting the compressors in and that module tucking all the wires in let's keep going all righty guys we have gotten these brackets mounted onto the tank um and I measured the distance between the two mounting points, these two mounting points, and it's exactly 20 inches. So I'm going to get the tape measure right now, uh, measure these out, and then make them 20, and then bend all the angles, make it perfect. That, be, that way it would be like a flat mounting point up here, flat mounting point up here, and the correct angle. Let's do it. All right guys, after all that drilling, all that uh, measuring the brackets and whatnot, I got everything perfect. Um, the, the, what's it called? The rear tank fits in there like perfect right now. It bolts up right into the two um, bolts that are already there. I'm just gonna put nuts on them and check this out. Right over here. So this is a better look of what it is gonna look like. Um, right now it's just hanging on two wires up there, but yeah, let's get this thing bolted up put in the interior trim and continue in tucking the wire harness and whatnot. Let's keep going boys. Alrighty guys, so we got uh, the three trim pieces in. We got this one here. Uh, we got the back one and we got this one in so far. Um, we got the airlines right here. And then we got two airlines right here and the wiring right here. So right now we're going to actually hang up the tank. It's going to be kind of difficult because I have these little holes over here. One hole and then another hole right here. And that is where my nut is. So I have to get the tank, this tank, up in there while putting the nut through that hole. So it's going to be pretty difficult, but we're going to struggle through it and get it all attached. Alright guys, that was actually extremely difficult and took very long. Uh, as you can see, the mounting brackets right over here and on that side. The trim piece fit right in. I had to trim a little bit of it under here, but it is pretty darn sturdy in here. And we're going to continue mounting on the rest. Let's keep working. Alright guys, after a whole ton of struggling, getting everything tucked in, everything wired up, we are about done, honestly. We have this one um, hose to tighten, and that's about it. Everything is tucked in. I'm going to put this rear body panel on, rear body panel trim on, and then hook up the wire up front because I have not hooked up the ignition wire. It is right here. I'm going to hook that up and then put install this trim over here. 
and the air suspension is all done. I will show you guys how it looks aired out um, because it's not aired out all the way right now. I put it on blocks. That way it would not go on the floor right now because I am on a sort of a slant. Let's get that wired in or that hose clamp or that hose tightened up and fire up the system. All right, guys, so I got the whole air suspension in the rear tucked away. It is looking good right now. Uh, right now, we're going to go to our destination. The car currently is aired up. We're going to go to our destination and get some flat ground. And I'll show you guys how it looks aired out. And I'll show you guys how I tucked everything. Let's get rolling. <laughs> All right, guys, that is a wrap for part nine of the GTR. We got the GTR on the ground. Um, it is aired out right now and it's looking just pure phenomenal. It is so beautiful. This is literally my dream car and this is my dream setup. So I love it when this stuff happens, when dreams come true. Uh, we got a little tiny couple more things to do on the car. We need to install those hood vents and we need to install the belt molding on that side and also the fender piece trim. Uh, we're gonna install that when the car gets buffed and which is the next episode, that's in part 10. If you guys like my videos, please smash that thumbs up button. I appreciate all the love, all the supports, all the comments. Please subscribe and comment down below. Let me know how it looks and I'll catch you guys on part 10.